With that down, let's get things started here, shall we? We're going to start off this Monday. I mean, Mondays are bummer days anyway, but we're going to start off with really unfortunate news. We lost two um, great contributors to the movie scene, Chris Christopherson and John Ashton, uh, both passed away on the same day. Chris Christopherson was uh, 88 years old, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I think John Ashton was 76, 76 or 78. Yeah, One of the two. Yeah, 76. 76. Now, John Ashton, of course, was Taggart in the Beverly Hills Cop. We just saw him on the new Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, just saw him. Just saw him. Um, and both of them passed away at the same time. For, for Chris Christopherson, uh, CBR writes the following. As an actor, Chris Christopherson debuted in film with a role in the 1972 Cisco Pike. He'd go on to win a Golden Globe Award for his work on 1976's A Star is Born, in which he co-starred with Barbara Streisand. For Marvel fans, he may be better recognized for his role as Whistler. He was such a great Whistler. In Wesley Snipes' Blade movie trilogy. He appeared in many other films, such as Heaven's Gate, uh, Big Top Pee Wee, Payback, Planet of the Apes, Where the Red Fern Grows, Dolphin Tail, The Star, and Blaze. He also hosted Saturday Night Live and appeared in the television shows, including The Muppet Show, Stagecoach, The Larry Sanders Show, and Two for Texas. Now, um, I remember Bradley Cooper, when he did his remake. Right. His remake remake. The remake of a remake. The remake that, of yeah. the remake. I think there's been four now. Have there been four? It's, I was thinking there definitely were three. might three. be right. There might be it four. It might be four. So... Here's the thing. You know, Bradley Cooper, when he did his, while he did not try to do a Chris Christopherson imitation, he was clearly channeling a lot of Chris Christopherson sure. uh, in his character as well. And like that's that was the first time I saw, and I was a lot younger, obviously I was a kid, but mm -hmm. seeing Chris Christopherson as an actor, of course he was also a big music star, but as an actor was a long time ago when I sat down and watched a rented VHS of A Star is Born. Mm -hmm. Now, for a lot of other people, though, like the article mentions, when people think of Chris Christopherson in movie circles, they're going to think of Whistler. Mm -hmm. And you know what? For <laughs> obvious reasons, when we talk about Blade, we talk about Wesley Snipes. And sure. we always, all of that. But I'm telling you, those movies would not have been as good without Chris Christopherson as Whistler. He was a great Whistler. And that, oddly enough, that really weird, awesome dynamic between Whistler <laughs> and Blade <laughs> was part like Wesley Snipes and Chris Christopherson. They worked off each other really they, well. They worked off each other beautifully. Yeah. They, You know what they did? They did what great on-screen duos should be able to do. They made me buy the other character even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Christopherson made me buy into Blade more. And Wesley Snipes made me buy into Whistler. You know? And he was absolutely great in that. And then, of course, like literally five minutes later, I read that John Ashton passed away. Yeah. Of Beverly Hills Cop fame. And again, I am so glad. Now, I, I admit I'm one of those guys who kind of poo-pooed the idea of them doing the newest Beverly Hills Cop because we saw what Eddie Murphy did with a new Coming to America, which right. sucked. But I really like the new Beverly Hills Cop, and I'm so glad that John Ashton had a chance to do that and enjoy seeing the success that that had and the response that that movie had. Um, anyway, this comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter, who writes the following. Uh, John Ashton, known for playing John Taggart in Beverly Hills Cop and two sequels, has died. He was 76. Ashton died Thursday in Fort Collins, Colorado, after a brief battle with cancer. His manager, Alan Somers, told The Hollywood Reporter. Ashton's detective sergeant, Taggart, appeared in the first two Beverly Hills Cop movies in 1984 and 1987. Alongside Andy Murphy and Judge Reinhold, he returned as the character now promoted to police chief in 2024's Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. They, they complimented each other well, too. Him and Eddie Murphy, they're both those characters. Oh, him and Judge Reinhold, too? Like, yeah. the yeah. three of them. Like, I actually heard, I remember a lot of people talk, because they, you know, they did Beverly Hills Cop 3 and whatever, and, and, like, a lot of people talked about that absence. Seeing those three on screen together again. It's like they never left. It, it was like they never left. It's like they never left that uh, department. Yeah, they never skipped a beat, either. Like, yeah, their, their chemistry with each other all picked right up again. And just knowing that this uh, he 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 just passed, it's like it makes you appreciate that movie a little bit more. I mean, he he didn't do much, but.
but he did a lot for his age. It yeah, like he he couldn't move that well, but he was still doing little sliding or whatever and sh shooting that blaster in that movie. So that was good. <laughs> That's good to see him do that. Yeah, yeah and, and again, I'm so glad he was able to enjoy that big success sure that one last big success thing i wanted to say just real quick uh just going back to chris real quick oh number one there was for 1937 54 76 and then 2018 so there's four there were four of born. them right yeah so christopherson's was the third was the third in right 76. and bradley cooper's was the fourth yeah, and the... i just wanted to say i i took my mom about 11 years ago and we got to see him perform at the troubadour it was a really cool night so i'm really glad i got to we both got to see him do that. Yeah, because, I mean, listen, as much success as he had on screen, Christofferson, yeah. he was a bigger music star. Sure. Yeah, music Willie is Nelson kind of and outside. Yeah, he was the, the Highwayman. Highwayman, and, yeah. Like, that's completely outside of the scope that we talked sure. about on our show. I just learned but, that today, too. That he was a musician? I, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. This whole, Jonathan's like, oh, he's a performer, too. He's a country music guy. And I was yeah. like, oh. Things yeah, I the actually think there are a lot of younger people who didn't realize he was also a music star. Like, again, I think a lot of people look at him and saw Whistler. But... Guys, question is for you. What are some of your best memories of Chris Christopherson and, you know, with the whether it's music or acting or whatever, and John Ashton, uh, both, at least the news of them passing away came out all just within a couple of hours of each other, uh, which was really like a double gut punch. But guys, what's your favorite memory of these performers? Whatever you guys think about, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.